Hi gang, Denise here and this is Pose of the Week. Well, I asked for suggestions for Pose of the Week and I got them. So Brian, this one is for you, Hero Pose, Vajrasana. So I happen to know Brian and I know that ankles are quite restricted. So here's how ankle restriction shows up in this pose. Oftentimes the ankles cannot point back, that would be plantar flexion, and the, the toes end up being curled under. It's not comfortable to be in this position for any length of time. So I recommend beginning with bolstering. So for sure, get something under your ankles. But if all we do is bolster, it's going to take a long time for anything to change in this posture if you're trying to move past that limitation. So what I suggest is activation. So what I'll do is actively press the top surfaces of my feet down into the mat. So that's asking me to contract the muscles in front here and that's going to start to reduce the resistance that those muscles have for lengthening, which is part of this ankle restriction. So I'm pressing down and I'm pressing down and I'm gonna count till about five to 10 seconds or a couple long deep breaths and then I'll relax. When you relax, Brian, you're gonna notice a lot of less resistance, more ease. So then I'll, I might do that two or three times and often we're in poses for a while so you'll have time to do that. You'll keep yourself bolstered and you'll just work on contracting and relaxing, contracting and relaxing. So that's way to get past that limitation. Then you'll just work on uh, reducing how much support you have under there over time. Contract, relax, contract, relax, reduce the support. You're gonna inch your way slowly, slowly down till you can fully point your toes back. Now, all of us who are able to, to do this, it's even good to keep mobilizing this position by lifting the knees and sitting back. Such a nutritious movement or mobilization for the ankles and the tarsal bones in the foot. So I know another limitation people may have in this posture is at the knee or the quadriceps. So we can work with that by bringing a blanket underneath. And you might have to use both kind of props. You might need something under the ankle and under your seat. If you're working with lots of tension through the quads and the knees, again, I recommend activating. So I've got some blocks here that are handy for me. I can just put my hands on the blocks and here's how I'll activate. I still push down through the top surfaces of my feet, but now I'll lift my hips up and I want to activate my quads. So as I press down, I'm using these muscles that are trying to straighten my knee. And I'll use that, and I don't want to overdo it here, but I do want to strengthen and activate my quads so I can reduce resistance again. So as I do this, I might hold for five or 10 seconds again, and then come down. So I'll work with contract and relax. Contract and relax. So you know what, eventually I'm going to be able to do without this bolster and I still want to contract relax. So I actually re recommend this for anybody in this pose because there's no actual good being done if we're just sort of stretching the knee joint capsule. Mm -mm. That's not good for us, but we do want good strong quadriceps. So let's work with those and bring it down. And as we reduce the resistance by increasing strength, then we can maybe work into deeper versions of the pose where we let the heels come apart, thighs stay together, and then we can work on the reclined version of the pose. Again, you can use blocks here. I like to actually use a bolster, a block to lie back on initially. And what I'm gonna do here is press down into my feet and press down into my knees and press up with my hips once again. This is how I'm strengthening all of these structures rather than just focusing on stretching. Because what's going to serve me long time is strength rather than range of motion. So Brian, I hope some of those tips will help you. Let me know how it goes. And thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye for now.